So here we have a question where they've given us a few things. So they've told us that the length of AB is 20. They've also told us that by showing us these lines, they're telling us that D is the midpoint of that shape. Then they tell us that AE is equal to six. So it's all stuff that you can pretty much see on the diagram, okay? Now the point is we need to work out the value of Y. And so Y is over here. So if we're to zone in onto this triangle here, we would see the following. We see that we've got a midpoint. Can you see D is the midpoint? Because they've showed us with this and this. And then they've told us that these two lines are parallel. Now remember when that happens in a triangle, it automatically means that it cuts the opposite side, so AE and EC, in half. That means that EC is also going to be equal to 6. But now the reason is going to be converse, because remember that's not the original midpoint theorem. The original midpoint theorem is if you have two midpoints. So that's going to be converse midpoint theorem, or your teacher might say line through midpoint parallel to other side. So it's the line going through D, which is a midpoint, and that line is parallel, so these two, so it's parallel to the other side. Okay, so EC is going to be 6, and that means Y is equal to 6. The next question asks us to work out the value of X, and we must just remember that AE is now going to be equal to EC. So inside this triangle over, or inside triangle ABC, we now have this midpoint over here as well. So the next one is to work out the value of X, which is over here. So if we had to zone into this triangle, we can then say that AF is equal to 8. Because why do we say that? Well, in that triangle, we've got a midpoint over there, because we discovered that in the previous question, and these two sides are parallel. And so when that happens, we can say that it's going to cut the opposite side exactly in half. So we can say that this side is going to be the exact same as that side over there. But that's not the original midpoint theorem, because remember, the original midpoint theorem is when you have the two midpoints already. But here we had the midpoint and a parallel line. So what we'll say is converse midpoint theorem. Or, remember your teacher might say, line through midpoint parallel to other side. And that's it.